Hello YouTubers, I um, wanted to show you my steel. Uh, this is not a steel that I use for cooking corn mash, although it could be. The part that you're not seeing is a turkey fryer. Now, this is a 30 gallon drum here. And you can still see the bungs right here. I left where you could get to it in there in that one. And I just insulated that with some cheap fiberglass insulation and some old silver tape to hold the heat. And that 30 gallon drum sets real nice on a turkey fryer. Uh, it could be done with wood or any heat source you like. We just can control the turkey fryer a little bit better. Uh, and then this here has got the threads that screw on right into the small bung. And as it goes up, it'll go up anything cools, it'll run back down. When it makes it over, it'll come over. And then this here is where the condenser starts. And you can see that condenser, several tubes, I've seen one like it on YouTube, and there it drips out. I don't have it screwed into the barrel right now because I don't have my rest here. But this little steel here, wow, it, it has a lot of possibilities. I made uh, ethanol with it. Uh, don't like making ethanol. Uh, as much sugar as you gotta put into five gallons of water, and it's just not worth it from what I can see unless you're getting sugar way cheaper than I can buy it and I guess you'd have to buy it in big big bulk in order to get it I just can't see it we're transporting it uh, but it will make ethanol you know that uh, interesting point is uh, when you got uh, sugar water in there you know and you're raising that temperature that temperature of that won't come up over the boiling point of the alcohol it'll only go to like 171 172 and all that alcohol will have to really boil off of there a lot quicker very quickly in order to get that temperature up so sugar water works in it sugar water and yeast i should say fermented the other things that work that i find very interesting is one we put burnt motor oil in there we put burnt motor oil in there. We got it up to about 365 degrees. We got a temperature gauge. It runs down inside the barrel. And lo and behold, dripping out of that end is all intensive purposes is diesel fuel. So after we tried that, then we filled that barrel up with wood and we did pyrolysis, which we got wood vinegar out there off of uh, sawdust that we run here in the shop. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Then we put plastic in there, number two plastic bottles, and uh, again, we get basically diesel fuel run out of there. Uh, the smoke off of it will run an engine off of the plastic. The smoke off of it will, we've even had it running off of the wood. I don't know how that got cool enough. You could put a fan over that, and you could even put a water jacket over some of that. One of the things I would recommend, recommend is when you're dripping out there, if you get anything near where you're dripping out, any kind of flash, you can back flash. It'll go up through there, back into the barrel, and you and your buddies will be an oily, on fire mess. Uh, put that into a bucket of water and let that oil come through the water and smoke come through the water so you don't get a back flash. Uh, I don't know how safe all this is. <laughs> I would definitely do this at your own risk. I will tell you that plastic uh, vapors get very, very volatile very quick. Um, it's amazing. Um, so anyway, wood will work in this sugar water and yeast to, uh, to make ethanol, burnt motor oil, and plastic. And any of those things you could turn into, and you know, they make a good alternative fuel, and all you need to do it on top of making you some good old corn mash is a steel. A lot of states, you have to have a permit to even have one of these. I don't know, I don't have one. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you guys in on what the capabilities of a uh, distillery are. And it's my understanding, it's the same way that the uh, uh, distillation process uh, can be one way of uh, purifying crude oil or changing into gas gasoline is distillation so anyway that's my simple steel i wanted to let you give you guys some ideas of what can be done off of it 
I'll tell you what, it's not a bad deal for a prepper situation. Although the sugar water ain't worth a crap. The burnt motor oil works pretty good. I want to try vegetable oil and see what I'll get there off of vegetable oil. I have no idea. Maybe some of you guys know. I know the condenser could be a little bit better. It could be a water jacket around it, but works pretty good like that, fellas. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments.